Give it up for Wendy, folks. Give it up for Wendy. 2020, I hate to be judged. I was walking down the street the other day in my neighborhood. This old lady, we're going to call her a golden girl, placed her purse and went to the other side of the street, right? So I crossed the road first. I said, look here, Betty White. What the hell are you about, right? I graduated high school at 15, which means I'm smart. I have my master's in nursing. I spent five years in the Army serving this country proud. You know what I'm saying? I told her I'm a productive part of society, right? So I have my friends rob this bitch, right? And I have my friends rob this bitch. Just kidding, I had to do it myself. She was too tasty, right? The whole time I'm robbing, I'm like, thank you for being a friend. It's was in the military, special forces for about a year, and uh, I was trained to look for terrorism, right? In my neighborhood, there's been a terrorist. I've been watching her for about 16, 17 years. She's always bringing boxes in. She looks sneaky, and that's my teenage daughter, all right? Y'all feel me on that? No that little bitch is trying to blow me up, all right? That's all I'm trying to say. Don't give her allowance one time, and that's what I get, you know? And uh, the only thing I like about my daughter is that... Uh, <laughs> Right now, she's actually second year of college. She's the number 10 400 meter runner in the country right now. My daughter. My grandmother, right? The only thing I hated about her high school career is that she got more girls than I did. Some of you got it, some of you don't get it. Right? Tell the other people, right? And my daughter's real smart, too. Like, when she was younger, she did spelling bees, and she's full black, not Indian, right? And, um, I don't know if anybody's ever seen there was a spelling bee where they said the word to the little boy and he passed out, right? Google it, look it up. The little boy passed out. They said the word to the little boy. He's standing there, he starts sweating, his eyes got all big, he spent the round and boom, hit the ground. I wonder what word can make a man pass out like that, right? What word besides marriage or pregnant, uh, the baby's black? I mean, what words can make a man? Sorry you didn't laugh at that joke. Do you have a story to tell us? Is that... You have a little Jamal at home, four years old, with a big bigger than yours, dunking on you, like, boom, got you, daddy. Uh, go to this side of the stage, he's kind of scary. Uh, I have a younger daughter who's an asshole, let me explain, right? It's, you got one at home, that's why you're here, fuck y'all. Uh, my youngest, she likes to copy, emulate things that she sees on TV, right? You know the Alexa boxes, they say whatever, with Google, has a box just like that, right? And it's a commercial, where it's a dad, he's sitting down and he's reading a story about whales, and the damn daughter keeps interrupting the story to ask the box stuff. She's like, Google, where do whales eat? Where do they sleep? Where do they get the weed from? You know, it's the California version, right? <laughs> my daughter kept interrupting, right? <laughs> and, uh, and I wanted to watch the game, and I snapped. I went, damn it, every night we go through this, can we hurry up so I can watch the game? And my daughter went, Google, what's the number of child protective services? <laughs> I sat my ass right back down, and I read 10 more stories. Like, yeah, too, right? <laughs> I'm big, but ain't that big. It's always somebody bigger, right? <laughs> you know? Um, I rode my Harley across country a couple years ago, right? And it was a cool experience, right? I took a sleeping bag, slept under the stars a couple times, but it kind of put me in the mood of that show, Naked and Afraid. You ever seen that show? <laughs> where, if you ain't seen that show, it's where they take a man and a woman, usually white, and they put them in the wilderness, <laughs> butt ass naked with like a toothpick and a toenail clip of the survival, right? <laughs> And they like me, I can't walk from my bathroom to my bedroom anymore butt naked without catching pneumonia. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm worried about shrinkage, you know? No, I'm not, because I'm black. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and they had this one couple matched up, right? They had this one couple matched up who, it was a 21-year-old white chick and a pastor, right? And a preacher, he was on there, he was telling the story. He's like, I just want to prove to myself, my God and my Lord, how strong I can be to make it through this test, right? <laughs> And they got to be like 15 days in, they were, it was 32 degrees, they were shivering, and the chick was like, look, let's snuggle so we can make it through the night. And the pastor was like, no, I will not snuggle with you. I don't know what gives you the idea that I want to snuggle with you right now, all right? I love my wife, all right? That's... I know, like, for me, if I was on that show, I'd go from naked and afraid to naked and afraid alone, because I would eat that damn woman, right? And I would be petitioning her ass over a bed of fire sprinkling ants on the butt, because that's the softest part right there. That's the butt, right? I'll be the first contestant that would gain weight on that fucking show. That's all I'm saying. Hey, y'all, I gotta get out of here. I'm Greg Williams, y'all. Good night.